what's going on guys welcome back to another video well today's video i'm gonna let you guys know about mr genesis detailing whoa whoa why they're closed they're they're closed oh they're on outside yeah i don't want that oh that sounds like yeah so when the sun goes down. uh genesis detailing guys has purchased his 84th weekend warrior in his lifetime <laughs> and uh well this might be the one. So this is a triple axle. It says 28 foot, but boy, this thing looks way bigger than 28 feet. We're gonna actually, we need to measure it. We need to grab tape measure, measure that. But uh, what's badass about this is it's a billet edition and everything looks like the guy left it in storage. So the graphics aren't destroyed. The awning is brand new. There is one issue, bam, but Nick has picked it up. The AC don't work. Uh, so instead of trying to figure it out, you know, just replace it. It's old. It's an upgrade anyways. Yeah, it's an upgrade. So put a nice big 15,000 BTU, 50 amp service in this thing. Uh, this thing is fully loaded. So he got a pretty good deal on it, but everything right now, toy haulers are getting very expensive. But we're going to rip the uh, AC out because, well, it ain't working well. Or it ain't working at all. It's kind of the fans, I don't know, a little iffy. But here's your living area. It's got the silver, the billet edition. And uh, it's got the black, tan, brown, multicolor couch. It's got the good drapes. Not like his old one where it had like, you know, the, the cheap. Was... Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, the cheapy ones. He's got a queen with a couch or a twin. Little seating area here. He's got big, massive windows here. He's going to change out the TV. Nice big fridge. Not like his other one was tiny. And... It's uh, adjustable. My attitude, you know, they say, oh, it's auto. Yeah, 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 it's a bunch of BS. <laughs> but, you know, uh, it's all adjustable. It's got a booming sound system in the thing. And uh, right now, we're pretty much camping in, like, my driveway to make sure everything is good. So if something does happen, it will fail here. But nice, massive subwoofer. Look at this. Look at this bathroom over here. Like, let me let me turn. Where's... Uh, right there. Behind the door. Behind the door. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a horrible idea. I know, I've done it 4,000 times. I should stick it there. All right, here we go. Okay, so we got here your toilet where you've been this here. Let me back up so you guys can see the whole bathroom. Pretty big bathroom. Way bigger than the weekend warrior that I had. Nice big shower right here. So you're not, uh, you know, you can actually move around. You're not stuck. Mine was really, really small. And, you know, it needs a little work. Not a lot. This thing's pretty ready to go. It's got 84 mirrors. Look at this. <laughs> it might be a little dizzy for you guys. I'm not, your number today, I'm not sure why. There's so, fifth wheel. there's so many wheels. Or wheels. So many <laughs> mirrors in this thing. Um, but, yeah. And then he's got his master here while we're doing some work. The battery. I told him uh, we should probably replace the battery. Oh, no lights in here. No, the bulb, the bulb out to get a sample. Oh, okay. So we're going to get some bulbs. I'll turn my light on for you guys. Um, but he wants to add another battery also in there. He's got a nice little slide out. Um, this is nice. I don't know if I mentioned it's a 50 amp service. So if he wants to add another AC and get rid of uh, this, he can add another one. So we can have dual ACs. But it does have all aftermarket uh, stereo. It's it's pretty hooked up. It's pretty it's pretty bad to the bones. I must say it's a very. This is what I've been looking for within the eighty fourth toy haulage I've been through. Yeah, was it but edition? yeah, no but corrugated sides. Yes, that that's number one. That's one thing he didn't like the corrugated, but I told him, well, these are heavier, so your F one fifty. For sale, guys. It, it towed here and it Brand did. New truck. It did good, but yeah, it this F one fifty guys is not for sale. Uh, he's gonna go with a diesel i told him go get like an older a little five nine yeah i told him get like a little five nine cummins uh or a 12 valve but that was a little too old for him so i don't know he's looking like maybe a 2010 or 11 but um you'll see this thing once nick's done completely different look here he started like polishing all this in here <laughs> so i'm sure when it's done it's gonna be all shiny Maverick. but uh we're going to replace the ac so if you guys want to know how to uh, replace the ac uh well Stay tuned because we're uh, really not sure how to replace it. So this is going to be my first time replacing this thing. I don't think it's too difficult, but uh, let's find out. We got old uh, Forky over here because we're going to put the AC on there, lift up, and sit it down there so we don't have to deal with no ladders or anything. Okay, so guys, we kind of went past the first step. But uh, first step, you're going to pop those these four screws out <clears throat> right here. And then you got four massive bolts that are gonna be here, 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 here. 
then you're gonna have two more hiding right here right here and it's gonna be loose well nick's going to uh take me up on the forky here um we're gonna hold on so i don't smash my fingers i'll hold on to here all right go ahead partner Wait a lot man i know it's str struggling huh a little bit oh baby it's a little scary i don't know how to like hold the camera <laughs> only because it's like so wide i'm like uh, over here stretching come yeah now come come forward go ahead. stop 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 go up more i'm trying to like go up so we don't yeah go through the trailer okay go forward all right guys i'm gonna have to hold on so i have to stop recording here okay so everything up top has taken off now, once you pull, start taking this cover off, there's a thermostat. This thing is going to be attached and you have to uh, pull. That's going to be attached right on this side. And I pull that and we're going to probably have to disconnect. You have some wires. There's going to be some wiring. Each AC unit is going to be a little different. But once you got this out of the way, um, that's it. You just got to push up. There you go. See that? And it just comes right out just like that. So now we will head back up top and uh, put this on the forklift so we can bring it down. Okay, and if you guys uh, don't have a forklift. I don't know how else you have to do this. I don't know how much you I don't know. Uh, oh, this would be a pain in the butt uh, not having a forklift. This is going to make life a lot easier. So, well, stay tuned. We're just going to go on up. Let's back up so we don't. Uh, Smash anything over here. I'm gonna go through this trailer. All right, let me know to go forward or not. Come forward. Let's turn some lights on over here real quick. There we go. I that it helps up there, but it looks like it's hanging off that edge right there. All right, clear. All right. Oh, and Maverick, get, what the hell? Get out of the way, man. Got a gold chain now. He's cool. Hey, hey, get out of there. What are you doing? Don't you see I'm bringing the forklift down with the AC unit on there? No, Jim. There we go. No, what are, you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Jump on the roof? Oh, when the sun goes down on my side of town. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you the new one. You stay up there, partner. Okay. Now, hey, look at that. Get old fresh, fresh. Okay, wait, we're missing a plug. Huh? We, we need a plug. We're missing a plug over here. What does that mean? That means we got to have a plug to plug into the plug. Oh. What? Explain, what? Um, all right, guys, stay tuned. We got to think here. Don't forget, guys, when you install the new unit, pull this plug. If you're looking for it, you got to lift it up. And when I tell you, look, look. <laughs> Sorry, I had to walk up there, my goodness. So this is what you need because, well, this is going to hook in, had it tucked in there. to the main brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here he goes, Mr. Excuse Guy. So um, now you put the four, the big bolts, so you can squeeze it and hold the unit from falling off. And other than that, put everything back together, and that's about it. It's all going to be done and ready to go. All right, guys, he has found a rammer. <laughs> Nick has found a rammer. Not yet, not yet. Oh, not yet. So he he's already spoiled the last truck I said. Wait, what happened, happened to the guy that we were supposed to go look at his ramp today? Did he respond to you? I don't know. We got to check. He's not responding to me. And we have also a special guest. So I like trucks. You guys, <laughs> you guys probably remember this guy, Jim. He's got a YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel called? Tin Invest. Time Tin, is now investing. Tin Invest. So some of you guys asked me how do I make some of my money, not all of my money. Um, well. I invest, I have some investments. Now, he obviously can't tell you what to do or what to invest in or how to do it. Um, I just watch his channel and I mean, it, it helps me invest in certain stocks and what to invest in. So I'm not telling you like, go watch it and you're gonna become a millionaire and go invest in his and boom, you're gonna make money. That's not how it works. Uh, but he tells you, Sort of, I don't know what's, I don't know what would you say, what's hot? I let I guess. you make, I bring you the stocks to your attention. I put it on your radar and I let you make the decision. I'm going to break down the company, go a little bit into the financials, nothing too confusing, and try to keep it entertaining at the same time. But I, my goal is to put these stocks on your radar. That way you can do a little bit more research and decide if it's a stock for you. Yeah. So 
like with me, there's some that I hear. I'm like, wow, that that sounds like pretty remember damn. Remember Celsius, your drink. Celsius yeah, the drink. 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 Yes, remember that drink. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Uh, heard of? I'm sure you have heard of it, but uh, it's it crazy. Like, it was eleven dollars a share at the time, and now it's at like over a hundred and eight bucks. Look at that, and that made me a lot of money. Now, does it always happen? No, I've done you know stuff, and I've lost money. Mm -hmm. um, is it like gambling? I consider yes, yeah, sort of like gambling, guys. Educated gambling. If you know what yeah. you're, but that's where it comes down. To that's you know where, where yeah. You're investing in. That's if you know what you're looking in. If you have the research, if the fundamentals don't change, then if you're investing with what I like to call not the rent money, if you're using the extra cash that you have, and you can let it sit, then typically, I mean, stock market does go up. So that's why, guys, I follow his channel. Just pretty much, you know, to sort of educate myself a little bit on that. So if you are interested in... You um, buy yourself a rammer. I'm, I'm not going to say interested in, in making money because it's not a guarantee. But if you're interested in stocks and maybe making potential money, go follow his channel. I'll put the link in the description. Um, you know, I guess invent... Maybe I'll, I'll do a video on... What do you want? You want a video on Polaris versus Can-Am? Maybe yeah. Ram? Maybe we get a little deep in the ram can you do like a ram versus like chevy versus I can ford do, i can do a video where i break down the numbers between the trucks oh there you go all, all right. right give I, him a follow i like trucks give him a follow Tin invest t-i-n invest okay Please i'll put follow. i'll put the link guys right here down in the description for you guys all right guys well we're pulling out of a house right now and i don't know if you see we have a new uh purchase here that genesis detailing is driving for me can you guys see it can anybody, anybody tell what it is so it's not too late but we uh purchased a new vehicle and Genesis is back there so oh, oh he's flashing me look at him, look at him over there flashing me. all right guys well we keep running into issues with this thing so um we finally got the AC not even done we just got it up top bolted you know put the big four bolts back that's it but now we've shut everything off after we've replaced the thermostat right there you can see there uh reason why we're gonna go with the fancy one well because this is a six wire and if you get the three wire one because it's a six wire it's not gonna work so we just went with the newer one and then i started smelling smoke like what is this smell i opened this thing up his converter uh in or converter slash charger started smoking and i don't know thing like shorted out went berserk so i'm like all right dude you know this thing's gonna need uh some more work so well that's all I got for you guys for this thing because we're pretty much done working on this. I don't want to work on it anymore uh, until we get parts. He's ordered more parts for this poor trailer. Now, he's not even a thousand bucks in it, so I told him that's not bad. It's okay. You know, if you put about a thousand or so in it, that's not no big deal. Uh, but he's going full bore. He wants to replace everything, make it look badass because he thinks he wants to keep it. So we'll see. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't want to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.